BSEN ISO 9000 2015 Quality Management System Fundamentals and Vocabulary Table of Content Introduction Scope Fundamental Concept and Quality Management Principles 2.1 General 2.2 Fundamental Concept 2.2.1 Quality 2.2.2 Quality Management System 2.2.3 Context of an Organization 2.2.4 Interested Parties 2.2.5 Support 2.3 Quality Management System Principles 2.3.1 Customer Focus 2.3.2 Leadership 2.3.3 Engagement of People 2.3.4 Process Approach 2.3.5 Improvement 2.3.6 Evidence Based Decision Making 2.3.7 Relationship Management 2.4 Developing the QMS Using Fundamental Concepts and Principles 2.4.1 QMS Model 2.4.2 Development of a QMS 2.4.3 QMS Standard Rather Management System and Excellence Model Chapter 3 Terms and this definition 3.1 terms related to person or people 3.2 term related to per organization 3.3 term related to or activity 3.4 term related to process 3.5 term related to the system 3.6 term related to the requirements 3.7 term related to result 3.8 term related to data information and documents 3.5 term related to customer 3.10 term related to characteristic number 3.11 term related to determination 3.12 term related to the action term related to audit annex concept relationship under graphical representation bibliography and alphabetical index term Introduction. This is standard. Provides a fundamental concept, principles, and vocabulary for quality management system QMS and provides a foundation of other QMS standard. This international standard is intended to help the user to understand the fundamental concepts, principles, and vocabulary of quality management in order to be able to effective and efficiently implement QMS and realize value for other QMS standard. This international standard proposes a well-defined QMS based on the framework that integrates established fundamental concepts, principles, processes, and resources related to quality in order to help organizations related other objectives. It is applicable to all organizations regardless of size, complexity, or business model. Its aim is to increase an organization's awareness of its duties and commitment in fulfilling the needs of and expectations of its customer and interested parties and in achieving satisfactions with its product and services. The international standard contains seven quality management principles support the fundamental concepts described in 2.2 and 2.3 for each quality management principles. There is a statement describing each principles, a rational explanations with the organizations would address the principles key benefits and the attribute to the principles and the possible actions that an organization can take in applying the principles. This international standard contains the term and definitions that apply to all quality management and QMS standard developed by ISO TC176 and other sector-specific QMS standard based on those standard at the time of publication. The term and definitions are arranged in conceptual order with the alphabetical index provided at the end of the document in Annex A, included a set of diagram for the concepts, same systems, that from concept ordering. Quality Management System Fundamentals and Vocabulary Scope Chapter 1 Scope This international standard describe a fundamental concept and principles of quality management, quality which are universally applicable to the following Organizations seeking sustained success through the implementations of quality management system. Customers seeking confidence in an organization's ability to consistently provide products and service conforming to the requirements. 
organizations seeking confidence in their supply chains that product and service requirements will be met. Organizations and interested parties seeking to improve communication through a common understanding of vocabulary using a quality management. Organizations performing conformity assessment against the requirements of ISO 9001. Providers of training assessment or advice in quality management. Develop developers of related standard. This international standard specifies the term and definition that apply to all quality management and quality management system standard de developed by ISO TC 176. Number two, ch fundamental concepts and quality management principles. 2.1 general. The quality management system. The quality management concept and principles described in the international standard give the organizations the capacity to meet challenges presented by an environment that is profoundly different from recent, recent decade. The context in which an organization's work today is characterized by the accelerating change, globalizations of market, and the emergence of knowledge as principles resources. The impact of quality extend beyond customer satisfaction. It can also be different, di direct impact on the organization's reputation. Society has become better edu educated and more demanding, making interested parties increasingly more influential, but providing fundamental concepts, the principles to be used in the development of the quality management system, QMS. This is standard. This international standard provides a way of thinking about the organizations more broadly. All concepts, principles, and their interrelation should be seen as a whole and not isolation of each other. No individual concepts or principles is more important than another. At any one time, finding the right balance in application is critical. 2.2 Fundamental Concepts 2.2.1 Quality an organization focus on quality promotes a cultural and result in the behavior, attitudes, activities, and processes that delivers value through the fulfilling needs and expectations of customer and other relevant interested parties. The quality of an organization's product and services is determined by the ability of satis to satisfy customer and the intended and in an intended impact on relevant interested parties. The quality of products and services includes not only their intended functions and performance, but also their perceived value and benefits to the customer. 2.2.2 Quality Management System A QMS compressed activities by the organizations identifies its objectives and determines the processes and resources required to achieve desired result. The QMS manage, manages the interactions, processes, and resources required to provide the value and realize result for relevant interested parties. The QMS enables top management to optimize the use of resources considering the long and short-term consequences of their decision. A QMS provides a means of identifying action to address intended and unintended consequences in providing product and services. 2.2.3 Context of an Organization Understanding the context of the organizations is a process. This process determines factor which influence the organization's purpose, objectives, and sustainability. It considers internal factors such as values, culture, knowledge, and performance of the organization. It also considers external factors such as legal, technical, competitive market, cultural, social, and economic environment. Example of the way in which the organization purpose can be expressed include as its vision, mission, policies, and objectives. 2.2.4 Interested Parties The concept of interested parties extend beyond a focus solely on the customer. It is important to consider all relevant interested parties Parts of the process for understanding the context of the organization is to identify its interested parties. The relevant interested parties are those that 
provide significant rest to the organizational sustainability if their needs and expectations are not met. Organizations define what result are necessarily to deliver to those relevant interested parties to reduce that risk. Organizations attract, capture, and retain the support of the relevant interested parties. They depend upon their success. 2.2.5 Support 2.2.5.1 General Top Management Support of the QMS and Engagement of People enables provisions of adequate human and other resources, monitoring processes and results, determining the evalu evaluating of risk and opportunities, implementing appropriate action, responsible acquisition, deployment, maintenance, enhancement, and disposal of resources supports the organization in achieving its objectives. 2.2.5.2 People People are essential resource within the organization. The performance of the organization is dependent upon how people behave within the system in which they work. Within an organization, people become engaged in aligned through the common understanding of the quality, policy, and the organization's desired result. 2.2.5.3 Competence A QMS is the most effective when all employees understand and apply the skills, training, education, and experience needed to perform their roles and responsibilities. It is the responsibility of top management to provide opportunities of people to develop their necessary competence. 2.2.5.4 Awareness Awareness is attained when people understand their responsibilities and how their actions contribute to the achievement of the organization's objectives. 2.2.5.5 Communication Plan an effective internal example throughout the organizations and external example with relevant interested parties. Communication enhances people engagement and increase understanding of the context of the organization, the needs and expectations of customers and other relevant interested parties, the QMS. 2.3 Quality Management Principles 2.3.1 Customer Focus 2.3.1.1 Statement The primary focus of quality management is to meet customer requirements and to strive to exceed customer expectation. 2.3.1.2 Rational Sustained success is achieved when the organization shall attract and retain the confidence of the customer and other relevant interested parties Every aspect of customer inter interactions provides an opportunity to create more value of the customer. Understanding current and future needs of customer and other interested parties contribute to the sustained success of the organization. 2.3.1.3 Key Benefits Some potential key benefits are increased customer value, increased customer satisfaction, improved customer loyalty, Enhance repeat business, enhance reputations of the organization, expand customer base, increase relevant the market share. 2.3.1.4 Possible action. Possible action includes recognize direct and indirect customer as those who receive value from the organizations, understand customer current and future needs and expectations. Link the organization's objectives to customer needs and expectations. Communicate customer needs and expectations throughout the organization. Plan, design, develop, produce, develop, deliver, and support product and services to meet customer needs and expectations. Measure and monitor customer satisfactions and take appropriate action. Determine, determine, determine the action that and take action on relevant interested parties need an appropriate expectation that can affect customer satisfaction. Actively manage relationship with customer to achieve sustained success. 2.3.2 Leadership 2.3.2.1 Statement Leaders at all level establish unity of purpose 
and directions and create conditions in which people are engaged in achieving the organization's quality objectives. 2.3.2.2 Rational Creations of Unity of Purpose and the directions of engagement of people enables an organization to align its strategic policies, processes, and resources to achieve its objectives. 2.3.2.3 Key Benefits Some potential key benefits are Increase effectiveness and efficiency in meeting the organization's quality objectives. Better coordinations of the organization's processes. Improve communication between level and functions of, or, of the organization's development and improvement of the capability of the organization's and its people to deliver desired result. 2.3.2.4 Possible action. Possible actions includes communicate the organization's mission, vision, strategy, policies, and processes throughout the organization's create and sustain shared values, fairness, and ethical model for behavioral at all level of the organization. Establish a culture of trust and integrity. Encourage an organization's wide commitment to quality. Ensure that leaders at all levels are positive examples to, op to people in organizations. Provide people with the required resources, training, and authority to act with accountability. Inspire, encourage, and recognize the contribution of people. 2.3.3 Engagement of People 2.3.3.1 Statement Competent, empowered, and engaged people at all levels throughout the organizations are essential to enhance the organization's capability to create and deliver value. 2.3.3.2 Rational In order to manage an organization effectively, and efficiently, it is important to respect and involve all people at all levels. Recognitions, empowerment, and enhancement of the competence facilitate the engagement of people in achieving the organization's quality objectives. 2.3.3.3 Key Benefits Some potential key benefits are Improve understanding of the organization's quality objectives by people in the organizations and increase motivation to achieve them. Enhance involvement of people in improvement activities. Enhance personal development initiatives and creativity. Enhance people satisfaction. Enhance trust and collaboration throughout the organization. Increase attention to shared value and culture throughout the organization. 2.3.3.4 Possible Action Possible Action includes Communicate with people to promote understanding of the importance of their individual contribution. Promote collaboration throughout the organizations. Facilitate open discussions and sharing of knowledge and experience. Empower people to determine constraints to performance and to take initi initiative without fear. Recognize and acknowledge people's contribution, learning and improvement. Enable self-evaluations of performance against personal objectives. Conduct survey to assess people's satisfactions. Communicate and result and take appropriate action. 2.3.4 Process Approach 2.3.4.1 Statement Consistent and predictable results are achieved more effectively and efficiently when activities are understood and managed as interrelated process and functions as coherent system. 2.3.4.2 Rational The QMS consists of interrelated processes. Understanding how results are produced by this system enables an organization to optimize the system and its Performance 2.3.4.3 Key Benefits Some potential key benefits are Enhance ability to focus effort on key processes and opportunities of improvement. Consistent and predictable outcomes throughout assistance of aligned processes. Optimize performance through effective process management. Efficient use of resources 
and reduce cross-functional barriers, enabling the organizations to provide confidence of interested parties related to its consistency, effectiveness, and efficiency. 2.3.4.4 Possible Action Possible action includes define objectives of the system and processes necessary to achieve them, establish authority, responsibility, and accountability for managing processes, understand the organization's capabilities, and determine resource constraint prior to action, determine process interdependencies, and analyze the effect of modifications to individuals' processes on the system as a whole, manage processes and their interrelation as a system to achieve the organization's quality objectives effectively and efficiently, ensure the necessary information is available to cooperate and improve the processes and to monitor, analyze, and evaluate the performance of overall system, manage risk, which can affect output of the processes and overall outcomes of the QMS. 2.3.5 Improvement 2.3.5.1 Statement Success organizations have an ongoing focus on improvement. 2.3.5.2 Rational Improvement is essential for an organization to maintain current level of performance to react to change in its internal and external conditions, and to create new opportunities. 2.3.5.3 Key Benefits Some potential key benefits are improved processes, performance, organiz organizational capability, and customer satisfactions, enhanced focus on root cause investigations and determines followed by preventive and corrective action. Enhance ability to anticipate the react to internal and external risk and opportunities. Enhance considerations of both incremental and breakthrough improvement. Improve use of learning for improvement. Enhance drive for innovation. 2.3.5.4 Possible Action Possible Action includes Promote Establishment of improvement objectives at all level of the organization, educate and train people at all level on how to apply basic tools and methodologies to achieve improvement objectives, ensure people are competent to successfully promote and complete improvement projects, develop and deploy processes to implement improvement projects throughout the organization, track, review, and audit the planning implementations Completions and result of improvement projects. Integrate improvement consideration into development of few or modified product and service and processes. Recognize the acknowledged improvement. 2.3.6 Evidence-Based Decision-Making 2.3.6.1 Statement Decision based on the analysis and evaluations of data and information are more likely to produce desired result. 2.3.6.2 Rational Decision making can be a complex process and it always involves some uncertainty and often involves multiple types of sources of input as well as their interpretation, which can be subjective. It is important to understand cause and effect relationship and potential unintended consequences, facts, evidence, and data analysis lead to greater objectivity and confidence in decision-making. 2.3.6.3 Key Benefits Some potential key benefits are Improve decision-making processes Improve assessment of process performance and ability to achieve objectives, improve operational effectiveness and efficiency, increase ability to review, challenge, and change opinion and decision, increase ability to demonstrate the effectiveness of past decision. 2.3.6.4 Possible Action Possible Action includes Determine 
measure and monitor key indicators to demonstrate the organization's performance, make all data needed available to the relevant people, ensure that the data and information are sufficiently accurate, reliable, and secure, analyze and evaluate data and information using suitable method, ensure people are competent to analyze and evaluate data as needed, make decisions and take actions based on evidence, balance with experience and intuition. 2.3.7 Relationship Management 2.3.7.1 Statement For sustained success, organizations manage their relationship with relevant interested parties such as providers. 2.3.7.2 Rational Relevant interested parties influence the performance of an organization's sustained success is more likely to be achieved when the organization's managed relationship with all of its interested parties to optimize their impact on their performance. Relationship management with its provider and partner networks is of particular importance. 2.3.7.3 Key Benefits Some potential key benefits are Enhanced performance of the organizations and its relevant interested parties through responding to the opportunities and constraints related to its interested party. Common understanding of the objectives and values among interested parties. Increase capability to increase value for interested parties by sharing resources and competence and manage quality related risk. I will manage supply chain and provide its stable flow of product and services. 2.3.7.4 Possible Action Possible Action includes Determine relevant interested parties such as providers, partners, customers, investors, employees, or society as a whole and their relationship with the organizations. Determine the prioritized interested party relationship that needs to be managed. Establish relationship that balance short-term gain with long-term consideration. Gather and share information expertise and resources with relevant interested parties. Measure performance and provide performance feedback and interested parties as appropriate to enhance improvement initiatives. Establish collaborative development and improvement activities with providers, partners, and other interested parties. Encourage and recognize improvement and achieve by providers and partners. Paragraph 2.4 Developing the QMS using fundamental concepts and principles. 2.4.1 QMS Model 2.4.1.1 General Organizations share many characteristics with humans as a living and learned social organism. Both are adaptive and compress interacting system, processes, and activities in order to adapt to their varying context, its needs, and ability to, to change. Organizations often innovative to achieve breakthrough improvement, and organizations QMS model recognize that not all system processes and activities can be determined therefore it is it needs to be flexible and adaptable within the complexities of the organization's context 2.4.1.2 system organizations seek to understand the internal and external context of identify the needs and expectations of relevant interested parties this information is used in the development of the QMS to achieve organizational sustainability. The output from one process can be input into other process and are interlinked into an overall network, although often appearing to the appraisal, a price of similar processes, each organization and its QMS is unique. 2.4.1.3 Processes the organization has processes that can be defined, measured, and improved 
these processes interact to deliver result consistent with the organization's objectives and cross-functional boundaries. Some processes can be critical while others are not. Processes have interrelated activities with input to a deliver output. 2.4.1.4 Activity People collaborate within the process to carry out their daily activities. Some activities are prescribed and depends on the understandings of the objectives of the organization, while others are not, and react to external stimuli, stimuli to, under, to determine their natures and execution. 2.4.2 Development of a QMS a QMS is a dynamic system that evolves over time through periods of improvement. Every organization has a quality management activities, whether they have been formally planned or not. This international standard provides guidance on how to develop a formal system to manage these activities. It is necessary to determine activities which already exist in the organizations and their sustainability suitability regarding the context of the organizations. This international standard along with ISO 9004 and ISO 9001 can be then be used to assess the organizations to develop cohesive QMS. A formally QMS provides a framework for planning, executing, monitoring, and improving the performance of quality management activities. The QMS does not need to complicated Rather, it needs to accurately reflect the needs of the organizations in developing the QMS, the fundament fundamental concepts and principles given in its international standard can provide valuable guidance. QMS planning is not a singular event, rather it is ongoing process. Plans evolve as organizations learn and circumstances change. A plan takes into account all quality activities of the organizations and ensure that it covers all guidance of this international standard and requirements of ISO 9001. The plan is implemented upon approval. It is important for an organization to regularly monitor and evaluate both the implementations of the plan and the performance of the QMS. Carefully considered indicators facilitate this monitoring and evaluations activities. Auditing is a means of evaluating the effectiveness of the QMS in order to identify risk and to determine the fulfillment of requirements. In order to, for audit to be effective, tangible and intangible evidence needs to be collected. Action are taken for corrections and improvement based upon analysis of the evidence gathered. The knowledge gain could lead to innovation, taking QMS performance to high le higher level. 2.4.3 QMS Standard Other Management System and Excellence Model The approach to a QMS described in QMS Standard developed by ISO TC176 in Other Management System Standard and in Organizational Excellence Model are based on common principles. They all enable an organizations to identify risk and opportunities and contain guidance for improvement. In the, in the current context, many issues such as innovation, ethics, trust, and reputation could be regarded as parameters within the QMS standard related to quality management, example, ISO 9001, environmental management, example, ISO 14001 and emergency management example ISO 50001 as well as other management standard and organizational excellence model have addressed this. The QMS standard developed by ISO TC176 provides a comprehensive set of requirements and guidelines for the QMS. ISO 9001 specifies requirements for the QMS. ISO 9004 provides guidance on the wide range of objectives of the QMS for sustainable success and improvement performance. Guidelines for components of a QMS 
includes ISO 10001, ISO 10002, ISO 10003, ISO 10004, ISO 10008, ISO 10012, and ISO 19011. Guidelines for technical subject in support of QMS include ISO 1005, ISO 10006, 1006, so triple zero, ISO 1007, ISO 10014, ISO 10015, ISO 10018, and ISO 10019. Technical reports in support of the QMS includes ISO TR 10013 and ISO TR 10017. Requirements for QMS are also provided in sector specific standard such as ISO TS 16949. The various parts of an organization's management system including its QMS, can be integrated as a single management system. The objectives, processes, and resources related to quality, growth, funding, profitability, environment, occupational health and safety, energy, security, and other aspects of the organizations can be more eff effectively and efficiently achieved and used when the QMS is integrated with the other management system. The organizations can perform an integrated audit of its management system against the requirements. The multiple internal standard, international standards such as ISO 9001, ISO 14001, ISO IEC 27001, and ISO 50001. Note. The ISO Handbook, the Integrated Use Management System Standard, can provide useful guidance. Chapter 3, Terms and Definition. Chapter 3.1, Terms Related to the Person or People. 3.1.1, Top Management. Top Management, Person of Group of People who direct and control an organization in paragraph 3.2.1 at the highest level. Note 1 to entry. Top management has the power to delegate authority to provide resources within the organization. Note 2 to entry. If the scope of the management system 5.3.5, 5.5.3 covers only parts of the organization, then top management refer to those who directed and control that parts of the organization. No three to entry. This constitute one of the common terms and core definitions for ISO management system standard given in Annex XL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement to the ISO IEC Directive Part 1. 3.1.2 Quality Management System Consultant Person who assess the organization's 3.2.1 on quality management system realization 3.4.3 giving advice or information 3.8.2 note 1 to entry the quality management system consultant can also assist in realizing parts of quality management system 3.5.4 note 2 entry iso 10019 2005 provide guidance on how to distinguish a competent quality management system consultant from one who is not competent source iso 1 0019-2015, paragraph 3.2, modified. 3.1.3, involvement, taking parts in the activity, event, or situation. 3.1.4, engagement, involvement, 3.1.8, in the contributions to activities to achieve shared objectives. 3.1.5, configuration authority, configuration control board, disposition authority. Person or group of person who assigns responsibility and authority to make decision on the configuration. 
no to one to entry relevant interested parties 3.2.3 within the outside of the organization should be represented on their configuration authority 3.1.6 disrupt resolver customer satisfaction individual person assigned by the PRP D DRP provider 3.2.7 access to the parties in the resolving dispute 3.9.6 example staff volunteer contract 3.4.7 personnel 3.2 terms related organization 3.2.1 organization is a person of group of people that has its own functions with responsibilities authorities and relationship to achieve its objectives note one entry the concepts of the organizations includes but is not limited to sole trader company corporations firm enterprise authority partnership association 3.8 charity or institution are parts of combinations thereof whether incorporated or not public or private no to to entry this this constitute one of the common terms and core definitions for ISO management system standard given in Annex SL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement to the ISO IEC Directive Part 1. The original definitions has been modified by modifying Note 1 to Entry. Context of the organization, 3.2.2 Context of the organization, combinations of the internal and external issue that can have effect on the organization's approach to develop, de developing to achieve its objectives. Not one entry, the organization objective can be related to its product and services, investment and behavior towards interested parties. To entry, not to the concept of context to the organization is equally applicable to not for profit or public service organization as it is those seeking profit no three in english this concept is often referred to by other terms such as business environment organization environment or ecosystem of an organization not for understanding the infrastructure can help to define the context of the organization 3.2.3 interested party the stakeholder person or organization that can affect be affected by or perceive itself to be affected by the decisions or activity. Example, customer, owner, people in an organization, providers, bankers, regulators, union partners, or society that can include competitors or opposing pressure group. This constitute one of the common terms and core definitions for ISO management system standard given in Annex SL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement to the ISO IAC Directive Part 1, the original definitions has been modified by adding the example. 3.2.4 Customer is a person or organization that could be that could or does receive a product and or services that is intended for the required by the persons or organizations. Example, consumer, clients, end user, re retailer, receiver and product or services from an internal process, beneficiaries and purchases. Note 1, a customer can be internal or external to the organization. 3.2.5, provider or supplier. Supplier organization that provides a product or services. Example, producer, distributor, distributor retailer or vendor of the product or services. Note 1, a provider can be internal or external to the organization. Note 2, in the contractual situation, a provider is sometimes called contractor. 3.2.6, external provider, external supplier provider that is not a part of the organization. Example, producer, distributor, retailer, or vendor of the product or services. DRP provider. DRP is consists of dispute resolution process provider. 
dispute resolution process DRP provider is a person or organization that supplies and operate an external dispute resolution process. Note 1. Generally, a DRP provider is a legally entity separate from the organization or person as an individual and the complainant. In this way, the attributes of inter independence of the fairness are emphasized in some situations a separate unit is established within the organizations to handle and resolve compliant. Note 2. The DRP provider contract with the parties to provide dispute resolution and is accountable for performance. The DRP provider supplier dispute resolver. The DRP provider also utilize support executive and other managerial staff to supply financial resources, clerical supports, scheduling assistance, training, meeting room, supervisions, and similar functions. Note 3. DRP providers can take many forms including not for profit, for profit and public entities. An association can also be a DRP provider. Note 4. An ISO 1003-2007 instead of the term DRP provider, the term provider is used. 3.2.8 Association Association is a customer satisfaction organization consisting of member organizations or person. 3.2.9 Metrological Function Function Unit with administrative and technical responsibility for defining and implementing the measurement management system. 3.3 Term Related to Activity 3.3.1 Improvement Improvement is the activity to enhance performance. Note 1, the activity can be re recurring or singular. 3.3.2 Continual Improvement Recurring activity to enhance performance. Note 1, the process of establishing objectives and finding opportunities for improvement is a continual process through the use of audit finding and audit conclusions Analysis of the data, management, review, and other means of general leads to the correction action or preventive action. Note 2. This constitutes one of the common terms and the core definitions for ISO management system standard given in Annex XL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement to the ISO IEC Directive Part 1. The original definition has been modified by adding Note 1 to Entry. Paragraph 3.3.3 Management Management is the coordinated activities to direct and control an organization. Note 1. Management can include establishing policies and objectives and processes to achieve these objectives. Note 2. The word management sometimes refers to people, example person or group of people with authority and responsibility for the conduct and control of an organization. When management is used in this sense, it should always be used with some forms of qualifier to avoid confusions with the concept of management as a set of activities defined above. For example, management shall be is depreciated, whereas top management shall is acceptable otherwise. Different words should be adapted to convey the concept when related to people, example, managerial or managers. 3.3.4 Quality Management is a management with regards to quality. Note 1. Quality management can include establishing quality policies and quality objectives and processes to achieve the quality objectives through quality planning, quality measurement, quality assurance, quality control, and quality improvement. 3.3.5 Quality Planning Parts of quality management focus on setting quality objectives and specify, specifying necessary operational process and related resources to achieve the quality objectives. Note 1. Establishing quality plans can be parts of quality planning. 3.3.6 Quality assurance is a part of quality management focus on providing confidence the quality requirements will be fulfilled. 
3.3.7 Quality Control is a part of quality management focus on fulfilling quality requirements. 3.3.8 Quality Improvement is part of quality management focus on increasing the ability to fulfill quality requirements. Note 1, the quality requirements can be related to any aspect such as effectiveness, efficiency, and traceability. 3.3.9 Configuration Management is a coordinated activity to direct and control configuration. Note, Note 1, configuration management generally concentrate on technical and organizational activities establish and maintain control of product or services and its product configuration information throughout the life cycle of the project. Paragraph 3.3.10, Chains Control. Activities of control of output after formal approval of its product configuration information. Paragraph 3.3.11 Project management is smallest identified project or of work in the project. Project management is a planning, organizing, monitoring, controlling, and reporting of all aspects of the project and the motivations of all those involved in it to achieve the project objectives. Paragraph 3.3 Point 13, configuration object is object within configurations that satisfies an end use function. Chapter 3.4, terms related to process. 3.4.1, process is a, is a set of interrelated or interacting activities that use input to deliver an intended result. Note 1, whether the intended result or of a process is called output product or services depends on the context of the reference. Note 2, input to the process are generally the output of other processes and output of the process are generally the input to the other processes. Note 3, two or more in interrelated and interacting process in series can also be referred to as process. Note 4, process in the organizations are generally planned and carried out under controlled conditions and value. Note 5, entry. The a process whether the conformity of the resulting output cannot be readily or economically validated as frequently referred to as a special process. Note 6, this constitute of the term of the common terms and core definitions for ISO management system standard given in Annex SL of the consolidated ISO supplement to the ISO IEC Directive Part 1, the original definitions has been modified to prevent circularity between process and output, and Note 1 to the entry has been added. 3.4.2 Project is a unique process consisting of set of coordinated and controlled activity with the start and finish dates undertaken to achieve an objectives conforming to specific requirements including and constraint of time, cost, and resources. Note 1, an individual project can form parts of larger project structures and generally has a defined start and finish date. Note 2, in some projects, the, pro the objectives of the scope are updated and the product or services characteristic defined progressively as the project, proce project proceed. Note 3, to entry the output of the project can be one of the several unit of the product or services. Note for the project organization is normally temporarily and established for the lifetime of the project. Note five, the complexity of the interactions among project activities is not necessarily related to the project size. Paragraph 3.4.3, .3. quality management system realization, a process of establishing, documenting, implementing, maintaining, and continually improving the quality management system. 3.4.4 Competence Acquisition is a process of attaining competence. 3.4.5 Procedure 
is a specified way to carry out an activity or process. Note 1. Procedures can be documented or not. 3.4.6 Outsource is make an arrangement where an external organization perform parts of an organization's functions or processes. Note 1. An external organization is outside of the scope of the management system, although the outsource functions or processes is within the scope. Note 2. This constitutes one of the common terms and core definition for its own management system standard given in Annex SL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement to the ISO IEC Directive Part 1. Paragraph 3.4.7 Contract Contract is a binding agreement. 3.4.8 Design and Development is a set of processes that transforms requirements to an object into the more detailed requirements for the, for the object. Note 1. The requirements forming input to design and development are often the result of research and can express in the broader, more general sense that the requirements forming the output of design and development the requirements are generally defined in terms of characteristic. In project, there can be several designs and development stage. Note to, in English, the word design and development and the term design and development are sometimes used as synonym, synonymously and sometimes used to define different stages of the overall designs and development. In French, the word conception and development and the term conceptions of development are sometimes used Synonymous and sometimes used define different stage of the overall designs and development. Note 3. A qualifier can be applied to indicate the natures of what is being designed and developed. For example, product, design and development services, design and development or process designs and development. 3.5 term related to system. 3.5.1 system is a set of interrelated or interacting elements 3.5.2 infrastructure is an organ is a organizational system or facilities equipment and services needed for the operations of an organization 3.5.3 management system is a set of interrelated or interacting elements of an organization to establish policies and objectives and processes to achieve those objectives to entry, a um, note one, a management system can address a single discipline or several disciplines, example, quality management, financial management, or environmental management. Note two, the management system elements establish the organization's structure, roles and responsibilities, planning, operation, policies, practices, roles, belief, objectives, and processes to achieve these objectives. Note 3. The scope of the management system can include the whole of the organization's specific and identified functions of the organization's specific and identified sections of the organization's or, or no one or more functions across the group organization. Note 4. The constitute one of the common term and core definitions for ISO management system standard given in Annex XL of the consolidated ISO supplement. So the ISO IEC Directive Part 1, the original definitions has been modified by modifying Note 1 to 3 to in 3. Paragraph 3.5.4 Quality Management System is a part of management system which regards to quality. Paragraph 3.5.5 Work Environment is a set of condition under which work is performed. Note 1, a condition can include physical, social, psychological, and environmental factors such as temperature, Lighting recognition scheme, operational stress or ergonomics and atmospheric position <coughs> composition. 3.5.6 Metrological confirmation is a set of operation required to ensure that measuring equipment conform to the requirements of its intended use. Note 1. Metrological confirmation generally include calibrations or verification any necessary adjustment or repair, and subsequent calibrations comprising with the meteorological requirements for the intended use of the equipment as well as any required sailing and labeling. Note 2, meteorological confirmation is not achieved until unless 
the fitness of the measuring, measuring equipment for the intended use has been demonstrated and documented. Note 3, the requirements for intended use include such considerations as range, resolutions, and maximum permissible effort error. Note 4, the entry meteorological requirements are usually distinct from and are not specified in product requirements. Measure, measurement management system is a set of interrelated or interacting elements necessary to achieve meteorological confirmation and control of measurement processes. Paragraph 3.5.8 Policy Policy in organizations is the intention and directions of the organizations as formally expressed by its top management. Note 1. This constitutes one of the common terms of the core definitions of ISO management system standard given in Annex SL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement to the ISO IEC Directive Part 1. Paragraph 3.5.9 Quality Policy is a policy related to quality. Note 1. Generally, the quality policy is consistent with the overall policy of the organization can be aligned with the organization's vision and missions and provide the frameworks from the setting up quality management. Note 2. Quality management principles represented in this international standard can form a basis for the establishment of the quality policy. Paragraph 3.5.10 Vision Vision of the organization is aspirations of what an organization would like to become as expressed by top management. 3.5.11 Mission Organizations Purpose of existing as expressed by top management. A strategy is a plan to achieve a long-term or overall objectives. Paragraph 3.6 term related to requirements. 3.6.1 objectives is the entity item in a, anything perceivable or conceivable. Example, product, services, process, person, organization, system, and resources. Note 1. Object can be material, example, engine or, or sheet of paper, a diamond. Non-material, conversation, ratio, or project plan. Or Im imagine, example, the future state of the organization. 3.6.2 Quality is a, is a degree to which a set of inherent characteristics of an object fulfills requirements. Note 1. The term quality can be used with objectives such as poor, good, or excellence. Poor, not to, inherent, as po, opposed to assign means existing of the object. Grade is a category or rank given to different requirements for an object having the same function use. Example, class of airline ticket and category of hotel in hotel brochure. Note, when establishing quality requirements, the grade is generally specified. 3.6.4 requirements is a need or expectation that is stated, generally implied, or obligatory. Note 1, generally implied means that is the custom, the custom or common practice for the organizations and interested parties that the need or expectation under consideration is implied. Note 2, a specified requirements is one that is stated for the, for example, a documented information. Note 3. A qualifier can be used to demonstrate a specific type of requirements, example product, requirements, quality management, requirements, customer, requirements, quality requirements. Note 4. Requirements can be generated by different interested parties or by the organizations itself. Note 5. It can be necessary for achieve high customer satisfaction to fulfill an expectations of the customer even if it is neither stated nor generally implied or obligatory. Note 6. The constitute one of the common terms and core definitions of ISO management system standard given in Alex XL for consolidated ISO implement supplement to the ISO IEC directive part 1. The original definition has been modified by adding note 3 to 5 to in entry. 3.6.5 Quality Requirements is a requirements related to quality. 
3.6.6 is stationary requirements is the obligatory requirements specified by legislative body. 3.6.7 regulatory requirements is the obligatory requirements specified by the authority mandated by legislative body. 3.6.8 product mag configuration information is a requirements or other information for product design, realization, verifications, operations, and support. 3.6.9 Nonconformity is a non-fulfillment of a requirement. Note 1. This constitutes one of the common term of core definitions of ISO management system standard given in Annex SL of the consolidated ISO supplement by ISO IEC Directive Part 1. 3.6.10 Defect Defect is nonconformity related to an intended or specified use. Note 1. The dis distinctions between the concept defect and nonconformity is important as it is legal connotation, particularly those associated with product and services liability issues. Note to, to entry, the intended use is as intended by the customer can be affected by the natures of the information such as operating or maintenance instructions provided by the provider. 3.6.11 Conformity is a fulfillment of the requirements. Note 1. In English, the word conformance is synonymous but deprecated in French. The word compliance is synonymous but deprecated. Note 2. This constitutes one of the common terms and core definitions of ISO management system standard given in Annex XL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement by IEC Directive Part 1, the original definitions has been modified by adding Note 1 to Entry. Paragraph 3.6.12, Capability is the ability of an object to realize an output that will fulfill the requirements for the output. Note 1, Process Capability term in the field of the statistics are defined in ISO 3534-2. 3.6.13 Traceability is the ability to trace the history, applications, or locations of an object. Note 1. When considering product or services, traceability can relate to the origin of materials and parts, the processing history, the distributions and locations of the product and services after delivery. Note 2. In the field of metrology, metrology the definition of ISO IEC Guide 99 is accepted definition. 3.6.14 Dependability is the ability to perform as and when required. 3.6.15 Innovation is new or change object realizing or distributing value. Note 1. Activities resulting and innovations are generally managed. Note to, innovation is generally significant in its effect. Paragraph 3.7 term related to result. 3.7.1 objectives is a result to be achieved. Note 1, an objective can be strategic, tactical, or operational. Note 2, objective can be related to different disciplines such as financial, health and safety, and environmental objectives, and can be applied at different levels such as strategic, organizations, wide project, product, and processes. Note 3. To entry. Note 3. An objective can be expressed in other way. Example, as an intended outcome, a purpose of an operational crit criterion is a quality objectives or by use by other words with similar meaning, goals, or target. Note 4. In the context of quality management system, Quality objectives are set by the organizations consistent with the quality policy to achieve a special result. Note 5. The constitute one of the common terms and core definitions for ISO management system standard given in Annex SL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement to the ISO IEC Directive Part 1. The original def definitions has been modified by modifying Note 2 to Entry. Quality objectives is the objective related to quality. Note 1. Quality objectives are generally based on the organization's quality policy. Note 2. Quality objectives are generally specified 
for relevant functions, level, and processes in the organization. 3.7.3, success. Is success in organizations is achievement of an objectives. Note 1, the success of an organization emphasizes the need for the balance between its economic or financial interest and the needs of the interested parties such as customer, user, investor, shareholder, or owner, people in the organization's provider, partners, interested groups, and communities. 3.7.4 Sustain success is a success over a period of time. Note 1 Sustain success in the organization emphasizes the need of balance between economic, financial, interest of the organizations, and thus the social and ecological environment. Note 2 Sustain process success relates to the interested parties of an organization such as customer, owner, people of an organization, providers, bankers, union part partners or social society 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 3.7.5 output output is a result of the process not one whether whenever the output of the organization is product or services depends on the pre preponderance preponderance of the characteristic involved example painting for sale in the gallery is a product whereas supply or commission painting is services hamburger broth the retail store is a product whereas the receiving and order and serving hamburger ordered of the restaurant is part of services 3.7.6 product is an output of an organization that can be produced without any restriction taking place between the organizations and the customer not one production of the product is achieved without any transactions necessarily to taking place between the provider the customer can be but can the customer but can often involves this service elements upon its delivery to the customer not to the docu the dominant element of the product is that is generally tangible Note 3. Hardware is tangible and its amount of countable characteristic. Process materials are tangible and their amount is continuous characteristic. And soft drinks, hardware, and process materials are often referred to as goods. Software consists of information regardless of the delivery, medium, high, computer program, mobile phone, app, instruction manuals, direct, dictionary content, musical composition, Copyright, drivers, and license. Paragraph 3.7.7 Service Output of an organization with at least one activity necessarily performed between the organizations and the customer. Note 1. The dominant element of the service are generally intangible. Note 2. Service often involves activities of the interface with the customer to establish customer requirements as well as upon delivery of the service and can be involved in continuing relationship such as bank, accountancies, or public organization, example, school, or hospital. Note 3. Provisions of the service can involve, for example, for the following, an activity performed of the customer supplied tangible product, example, car to be repaired. An activity performed on the customer supplied intangible product, example, the income statement needed to prepare tax return, the delivery of the intangible product, example, delivery of information in the context of knowledge transmission, the creations of ambience of the customer, example, hotel and restaurant. Note 4. A service is generally experienced by the customer. 3.7.8 Performance me is a measurable result. Note 1. Performance can relate either to quantitative or qualitative finding. Note 2. Performance can relate to the management of activities, processes, product, services, system, and organization. Note 3. The constitute of the common term, the core definitions of ISO management system standard given on Annex L. Of the consolidated ISO supplement of ISO IEC Directive Part 1, the original definitions has been modified by modifying Note 2 to Entry. Risk is an effect of uncertainty. Note 1. An effect is a deviation from the expected 
for positive or negative. Note to, uncertainty is the state even partials or deficiency of information related to the understanding of knowledge of an event, its consequence or likelihood. Note 3. Risk is often characterized by reference to potential event as defined in ISO Guide 73 2009 3.5.1.3 and the consequence as defined in ISO Guide 73 2009 3.6.1.3 or combinations of this. Note 4. Risk is often expressed in terms of combinations of the consequences of an event including changes in circumstances and the associated likelihood as defined in ISO Guide 73 3.6.1.1 of occurrence. Note 5. The word risk is sometimes used when there is a possibility of only negative consequences. Note 6. This constitute one of the common terms of the core definitions of ISO management system standard given in Annex L of the consolidated ISO supplement by ISO IEC Directive Part 1. The original definition has been modified by adding note 5 to entry. Efficiencies, paragraph 3.7.10. Efficiency is the relationship between the result achieved and the resource use. 3.7.11. Effectiveness is the extent to which plan activity are realized and plan result are achieved. Note 1. This constitute one of the common terms of core definitions of ISO management system standard given in Analysis L of the Consolidated ISO Supplement to the ISO IEC Directive Part 1. The original conditions has been modified by adding the R before achieved. Paragraph 3.8, terms related to data, information, and documents. Paragraph 3.8.1, data is a fact about object. 3.8.2, information is meaningful data. 3.8.3 Objective evidence is a data supporting the existence of over overity of something. Note 1. Objective evidence can be ob obtained through the observation, measurement, test, or by other means. Note 2. Objective evidence for the purpose of audit generally consists of reward, sometimes a fact, other informations which are related to the audit criteria and variable. Verifiable. Paragraph 3.8.4, Information System, Quality Management System, Network, and Communication Channel Use with an Organization, 3.8.5, Documents, Informations, and the Medium of which it's contained, Example, Record, Specifications, Procedure, Documents, Drawing Report Standard, Note 1, the Medium can be Paper, Magnetic, Electronic, or Optical, Computer Desk, Photographers or master samples of combination thereof. Note to a set of documents, for example, specifications of record. It's frequently a called documentation. Note three. Some requirements, example, the requirements of the re readable relate to the types of documents. However, there is there can be different requirements of the specification. Example, the requirements of the provisions of control. And for record example, the requirements to be retrievable. 3.8.6 documented information. Any information required to control and maintained by the organizations and the medium on which it is contained. Note 1. Documented information can be in any format and media and from any source. Note 2. Documented information can refer to management system including related process information crutch in order to the organizations to operate evidence of result achieve record note three to entry the constitute one of the common terms and core definitions of iso management system standard given in annex sl of the consolidated iso supplement to the iso iec directive part one three 8.7 specification is a document stating requirements, example, quality manual, quality plan, technical drawing, procedures, documents, work instruction. Note 1 entry specifications can related to activities, example, procedure, document process, specifications, and test, specifications or product, example, product specification performance. 
specification and drawing. Note to it can be that the stating requirements specification additionally is stating result achieved by the design and development and those in some cases can be used as a record. 3.8.8 quality manual is the specifications for the quality management system of an organization. Note 1, quality manual can vary in details and format to suit the size of complexity of an individual organization. 3.8.9 quality plan is a specifications of the procedure and associated resource to be applied when and by whom to be a specific object. Note 1, this procedure generally includes those referring to quality management processes and to product and services realization processes. Note 2, a quality plan often makes reference to parts of quality manual or to procedure documents. Note 3, a quality plan is generally one of the result of quality planning. 3.8.10 record. Record is a document stating result achieving or providing evidence of activities performed. Note 1, entry record can be used for examples of formalized traceability and to provide evidence of the verifications, preventive actions, and corrective actions. Note 2, general record need not be under revision control. 3.8.11 Project Management Plan is a document specifying what is necessary to meet the objectives of the project. Note 1 to entry, a project management plan should include or refer to the project quality plan. Note 2, the project management plan also includes or reference such as other plan as those relating to organization structure, resources, schedule, budget, risk, management, environmental management, health and safety management, and security management as appropriate. 3.8.12 Verification is a confirmation through the provisions of the objective evidence as specified requirements has been fulfilled. Note 1. The objective evidence needed for the verification can be the result of an inspection or of other forms of determination such as performance alternative calculation, calculations or reviewing documents. Note 2. The activities carried out for the verifications are sometimes called qualification process. Note 3. The word verified is used to designate the corresponding status. Paragraph 3.8.13. Validation. Validation is confirming through the provisions of objective evidence that the requirements for the specific intended use for the applications have been fulfilled. Note 1. The objective evidence needed for the valida validation is the result of the test or other forms of determination such as performing alternative calculations or reviewing documents. Note 2. The word validated is used to design, designate the correspondence status. Note 3. The use coordinations for validations can be real or simulated. 3.8.14 Configuration Status Accounting is a formally recording and reporting so the product configuration information, the status of proposed chains, and the status of the implementations of approved chains. 3.8.15 is specific case is a subject of the quality plan. Note 1. This term used to avoid petition of process, product, project or contract within the ICO 1005. Paragraph 3.9 term related to customer. 3.9.1 feedback. Feedback is the opinion, comments, and expressions of interest in the product or service or a compliance handling process. So feedback mostly is the customer satisfaction. 3.9.2 customer satisfaction is a customer perceptions of the degree to which the customer is expectations has been fulfilled. Note 1, it can be the customer expectation is not known to the requirements, to the, to the organizations 
or even to the customer in question until the product or service is delivered. It can be necessary for achieving high customer satisfaction to fulfill an expectations of the customer even if it is neither stated nor generally implied or obligatory. 3.9.2 Customer Satisfaction Customers' perceptions of degree which the customer expectations has been fulfilled. Note 1. It can be that the customer expectation is not known to the organizations or even the customer in question until its product or service is delivered. It can be necessary for achieving high customer satisfactions to fulfill and expectations of the customer even if it is neither stated nor generally implied or obligatory. Note 2. Compliance are a common indicators of low customer satisfaction, but their absence does not necessarily imply high customer satisfaction. Note 3. Even when customer requirements has been re agreed with the customer and fulfilled, this does not necessarily ensure high customer satisfaction. 3.9.3 Compliant Compliant of the customer satisfaction is expressed as the satisfactions made to an organization related to its product or service or the compliance handling process itself where a response or resolution is explicitly or implicitly expected. Paragraph 3.9.4 Customer Service is the interactions of the organizations with the customer throughout the life cycle of the product or a service. 3.9.5 Customer Satisfaction Code of Conduct is a promises made to customer by an organization concerning its behavior that are aimed to enhance customer satisfactions and related provision. Note 1. Related provision can include objectives, conditions, limitations, contact information and compliance handling procedure. Note 2. In ISO 10001-2007, the term code is used instead of the customer satisfactions code of conduct. 3.9.6 Dispute Dispute is a disagreement arising from the compliance submitted to the DRP provider. Note 1. Some organizations allow their customer to express their dissatisfaction to the RP provider in the first instance in these situations an express of dissatisfaction become a compliance when sent to the organizations of response and become a dispute of its resolved by the organizations without the RP provider intervention. Many organizations prefer their customer to first express any dissatisfactions to the organization before utilizing dispute resolutions external to the organization. Paragraph 3.10 term related to characteristic. 3.10.1 characteristic is a distinguishing feature. Note 1, a characteristic can be inherent or assigned. Note 2, characteristic can be qualitative or quantitative. Note 3, there are various classes of characteristics such as the following A, physical, mechanical, electrical, chemical, or biological characteristic. B, sensory, example related to smell, touch, taste, sight, and hearing. Letter C, behavioral, example courtesy, honesty, and veracity. Letter D, temporal, example punctuality, reliability, ability, and continuity. Letter A, ergonomics, example, psychologically, characteristic or related, human safety. Letter A, functional, example, maximum speed of an aircraft. 3.10.2, quality characteristic is an inherent characteristic of an object related to the requirements. Note 1, inherent means existing or something especially as a permanent characteristic. Note 2, a characteristic assigned to an object, example, the price of the object, is not a quality characteristic of the object. 3.10.3, human factor. 
characteristic of the person having an impact of an object under consideration. Note 1. Characteristic can be physical, cognitive, or social. Note 2. Human factor can have significant impact on management system. 3.10.4. Competence is the ability to apply knowledge and skills to achieve intended result. Note 1. Demonstrated competence is sometimes referred to as qualification. Note 2. This constitute one of the common terms and core definitions for ISO management system standard given in Annex SL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement to the ISO IEC Directive Part 1. 3.10.5 Metrological characteristic is a characteristic which can influence the result of measurement. Note 1. Measurement, measuring me equipment usually have several metrological characteristics. Note 2. Metrological characteristic can be the subject of calibration. 3.10.6 Configuration. Interrelated functions and physical characteristic of the product or service defined in the product configuration inf information. The term service has been included in the definition. 3.10.7 Configuration Baseline is the approved product configuration information that establishes the characteristic of the product or service at the point of time that serves as difference of the activities throughout the life cycle of the product or service. Paragraph 3.11 Term Related to the Determination 3.11.1 Determination is the activity to find out one or more characteristic under characteristic value. Paragraph 3.11.2 Reviews Reviews determinations of the suitability, adequacy, or effectiveness of an object to achieve establishment objectives. Example, management review design and development review of customer requirements. Review of corrective action and peer review. Note 1. Review can also include determinations of efficiency. Paragraph 3.11.3. Monitoring is determining the status of system, a process, a product, a service, or an activity. Note 1. For the deter determinations of the status, there can be need to check, supervise, or critically observe. Note 2. As a monitoring is a generally determinations of the status of an object carried out different stage or a different time. Note 3. This constitute one of the common terms and core de definitions of ISO management system standard given in Annex SL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement in ISO IC Directive Part 1. 3.11.4 Measurement is a process of determined value. Note 1. According to ISO 3534-2, the value determined as generally the value of quantity. Note 2. This constitute one of the common terms of the core definitions of ISO management system standard given in Annex SL for the consolidated ISO supplement to the ISO IEC Directive Part 1. Paragraph 3.11.5 Measurement process is a set of operation to determine the value of quantity. Paragraph 3.11.6 Measuring Equipment is a measuring instrument, software, measurement standard, reference materials or auxiliary apparatus or combinations thereof necessary to realize a measurement process. 3.11.7 Inspection is a determination of conformity to specify the requirements. Note 1. If the result of the inspection show conformity, it can be used for the purpose for verifications. Note 2. The result of an inspection can show conformity of non-conformity or agree or degree of conformity. 3.11.8 test is a definition. A test is a determination according to the requirements for the specific intended use or applications. Note 1 to entry. If the result of test show conformity, it can be used for the purpose of validations. Paragraph 3.11.9 Progress Evaluations is the assessment of the progress made in the achievement of the project or objectives. So, project, progress evaluations in the project management. 
Note 1, this assessment should be carried out to the appropriate points of level life cycle across the project processes based on the criteria of the project processes and product or service. Note 2, the result of progress evaluation can lead to revisions of the project management plan. Paragraph 3.12, term related to action. The Paragraph 3.12.1, prevention, preventive actions is the action to eliminate the cause of potential non-conformity in order to, pro to potential and undesirable situations. Note 1, there can be more than one cause for the potential non-conformity. Note 2, preventive action is taken to prevent occurrence whereas corrective action is taken to prevent recurrence. Three point twelve point two corrective action is the action to eliminate the cause of nonconformity and to prevent recurrence. Note one there can be more than one cause of nonconformity. Note two corrective action is taken to prevent recurrence, whereas the preventive action is taken to prevent occurrence. Note three this constitutes one of the common terms of the core definitions of ISO management system standard given in Annex SL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement to the ISO IC Directive Part 1. Paragraph 3.12.3 Correction is the action to eliminate a detections of nonconformity. Note 1. A, a correction can be made in advance of in conjunctions with after a corrective actions. Note 2. A correction can be, for example, reward or regrade. 3.12.4 Regrade is the alter alterator of the of the grade or non-conforming product or service in order to make it conform to requirements defined differing from the initial requirements 3.12.5 concession is the permissions to use or release a product or service that does not conform to specified requirements not one to entry a ah, a concession is generally limited to the delivery of product and services that have non-conforming characteristic within the specified limits and it's generally given to a limited quantity of products and services of the period of time and for the specific use. Paragraph 3.12.6 Deviation Permit Permission to divert from the original specified requirements of a product or services prior to its realizations. In note 1, a deviation permit is generally given for the limited quantity of the products and service for a period of time and for a specific use. Paragraph 3.12.7, release is a permission of process to the next stage of the process or the next process. Note 1, in English, in the context of software and documents, the word release is frequently used to refer to the next version to the software or for the document itself. Paragraph 3.12.8 Reward is the actions on non-conforming product or service to make it conform to the requirements. Note 1. Reward can affect or, or change parts of non-conforming product or services. Paragraph 3.12.10 Repair is an actions of non-conforming products or service to make it acceptable for the intended use. Note 1, an, a successful repair of non-conforming product or services does not necessarily make the product or service conform to the requirements. It can be that the conjunctions with repair or concessions is required. Note 2, repair include remedial action taken for the previously conforming product or service to restore it for use, for example, as part of maintenance. Note 3, a repair can affect or change parts of non-conforming product or services. Paragraph 3.12.10 is scrap is an actions of non-conforming products or service to, to preclude to preclude its original intended use. Example recycle distribution. Note one a non-conforming service situation used as preclude by discontinuing the service. Paragraph 3.13, Terms Related to Audit. 
3.13.1 audit is the systematic independent and documented process for obtaining objective evidence and evaluating its objectives to determine the extent to which audit criteria are fulfilled. Note 1. The fundamental elements of an audit included and determinations of the conformity of an object according to the procedure carried out by personnel not being responsible for the object audited. Note 2. An audit can be internal audit, first party, or an external audit, second party, and it can be combined audit or joint audit. Note 3. Internal audit, sometimes called first party audit, are conducted by or on behalf of the organization itself management review and other internal purpose and can forms of basis of the organization's declarations of conformity. Independence can be demonstrated by the freedom of responsibility for the activity being audited. Note for external audit include those generally called second and third party audit. Second party audit are conducted by parties having interest of the organization such as customer or by person to their behalf. Third party audits are conducted by external independent auditing organizations such as those providing certification registrations of conformity or governmental agencies. Note 5. This constitute one of the common terms and core definitions of ISO management system standard given in Annex SL of the Consolidated ISO Supplement to the ISO IEC Directive Part 1. 3.13.2 Combined Audit is an audit carried out together with single audit, one or more management system. Note 1. The parts of the management system that can be involved in the combinations of audit can be identified by the relevant management system standard product, standard service standard, or process standard being applied by the organizations. Paragraph 3.13.3 Joint Audit is an audit carried out in the single audit by two or more auditing organization. Paragraph 3.13.4 Audit Program is a set of one or more audit plan for the specific time frame and direct towards the specific purpose. Paragraph 3.13.5 Audit Scope is the extent and boundaries of an audit. Note 1. The audit scope generally includes the descriptions of the physical locations organization's unit, activities, and processes. Paragraph 3.13.6 Audit Plan is a description of the activities and arrangement of an audit. Paragraph 3.13.7 Audit Criteria is a set of policies, procedures, or requirements used as reference against which objective evidence is compared Paragraph 3.13.8 Audit Evidence is a record statement of fact of other information which are relevant to the audit criteria and verifiable. Audit at 3.13.9 Audit Finding is the result of the evaluations of the collected audit evidence against audit criteria. Note 1. Audit Finding indicates conformity or non-conformity. Audit 2. On note 2, audit finding can lead to the identifications of opportunities for improvement or recording good practice. Note 3, in English of the audit criteria are selected from stationary requirements or regulatory requirements. The audit finding can be called compliance or non-compliance. Paragraph 3.13.10 Audit Conclusion is the outcome of an audit after considerations of the audit objectives and all audit finding. Paragraph 3.13.11 Audit Client is an organization or person requesting an audit. Paragraph 3.13.12 Auditee is the organizations being audited. Paragraph 3.13.13 Guide Guide of the audit is the person appointed by the auditee to assess the audit team. Paragraph 3.13.4 audit, audit Team is one or more person conducting an audit. Supported if, ne of, if needed by technical expert. Note 1. One auditor of the audit team is appointed as an audit team leader. Note 2. The audit team can include auditors in training. 
Paragraph 3.13.5 Auditor is a person who conduct an audit. Paragraph 3.13.16 Technical expert of the audit is the person who provides specific knowledge or expertise to the audit team. Note 1. Specific knowledge or expertise relates to the organizations and process or activity to be audited or language or culture. Audit Note 2. Is a technical expert does not act as an auditor in the audit team. Paragraph 3.13.17. Observer of the audit is the person who, who accompanies the audit team but does not act as an auditor. Note 1. An observer can be member of the audit team, a regulator or other interested party who witness the audit. Annex A. Informative. Informative Annex A. A concept relationship of their graphical representation. A1 general, a terminology works and relationship between the concept are based on the hierarchical formations of the characteristic of the specific so that the most economical descriptions of the concept is formed by naming its species and describing the characteristic that distinguish it from its parent or sibling concepts. There are three primary forms of concept relationship indicating in the in, in this annex gener generic Partitive and generic C clause A.2 and partitive C clause A.3 and associative C clause A.4. A.2 generic relations is a subordinate concept with a hierarchy inherits the characteristic of the super superordinate superordinate concepts and contain descriptions of this characteristic which dis distinguish them from the superordinate parents and coordinating siblings concept example the relationship of spring summer autumn and winter of season generic relationships are depicted by the fan or three diagrams without arrow see figure 8.1 example adapted by iso 7 04 2009 paragraph 5.5.2.2.1 .2 season is spring season is composed of spring summer and autumn it's, it's a graphical representation for generic relation. Paragraph 8.3, partitive relations, is a subordinate concept with the hierarchy form constituent parts of superordinate concept. Example, spring, summer, autumn, and winter can be defined as parts of the concept year. In comparison, it is the inappropriate to define sunny weather one possible characteristic of summer as parts of the year. Partitative relationship relations are depicted by the rake without arrow in figure E-2. Example adapted by ISO 704, 2009, paragraph 5.5.2.3.1. A year is composed of spring, summer, autumn, and winter. A, A, po, A dot four associative rel rel relation. Associative relation cannot provide an economics in descriptive and are present in generic and partitive relationship, but are helpful in identifying the natures of relationship between the concept and another within the concept system, example, cause and effect, effectivity, activity, and location activity, and result, tools, and functions, materials, and product. Associated relationship are depicted by the lines of arrowhead of each end in figure E.3. Example, adapted in ISO 704-2009, Paragraph 5.6.2 Swimming is composed of sunshine and swimmer and swimmer Sunshine, swimmer, swimming, swimmer, swimming, sunshine Paragraph E.5 Concept Diagram In figure E.4 and E.16 show the concept diagram of which the thematic grouping of cross 3 are based since the diff Definitions of the term are repeated without any related notes. It is recommended to refer the clause 3 to consult any notes. So a person or direct dictionary individual human composed of top management, so top management and configuration authority and dispute resolver involvement and quality management system. So top management is a person or group of people who they, who they direct and control the organizations at the highest level and the configuration authority 
is a person or a group of person who assign responsibility and authority to make decisions on the configurations, while the dispatch resolver is the individual person assigned by DRP provider to assist the parties in resolving a dispute, while the quality management system is the consultant is the person who assists the organizations on quality management system realizations, giving advice or informations, and the involvement is a taking parts of the activity inter-event or situations while the involvement is composed of engagement is the involvement in and contributions to the activities to achieve shared objectives so this is the person directory individual human a concept of class of person or people and related concept in figure figure a point four paragraph three point one organizations so organizations is composed of context of the organization, meteorological functions, associations, providers, customers, interested party. So organizations is a person or group of people that has its own functions with responsibilities, authorities, and relationship to achieve its objectives. Is composed of context of the organizations is the combinations of internal and external issue that can have an effect or an organization's approach to developing and achieving its objectives, while metrological functions is the functions unit with administrative and technical responsibility for defining the implementing and the measure, measuring management system, and the association is the organizations consisting of the member organizations or person, while the provider is the organizations that provides a product or service. And the, the customer is the person or organizations that could, could or does receive product or service that has intended for are required by the persons or organizations, whereas the interested party is the person or organization that can affect, be affected by or perceive itself to be affected by the decisions or activity. The provider the provider is composed of the inter, internal, external provider is a provider that is not part of the organization, while the DRP provider is the person or organization that supplies the operate and operates an external dispute resolution process. So this is the figure A.5, paragraph 3.2 concept of the class organizations and related concept. Another is the activity, is the di dictionary word, doing something. Activity is composed of improvement. Activity change control management, configuration object, and configuration management, quality management, and project management. Activity is a di dictionary word, doing something. Well, improvement activity to enhance performance. And the continual improvement is the recurring activity to enhance performance. While the activity is the smallest identified object of the work. Management. Management is a coordinated activity to direct and control an organization's change control. Activities for control of the output after formal approval of its organization configuration information. And configuration object is an object within the configuration that satisfies an end use functions where the configuration management is the coordinated activities to direct and control configuration. <clears throat> management is the coordinated activities to direct and control organizations while the project management is the planning organization monitoring, controlling, and reporting to all aspects of the project and the motivations of all those involved in it to achieve the project objectives. The quality management is the management with regards to quality is composed of quality planning, quality assurance, quality control, and quality improvement. Quality planning is parts of quality management focus on setting quality objectives and specifying necessary operational process and related resource to achieve the quality objectives. The quality assurance is a part of quality management focus on providing confidence that quality requirements will be fulfilled, while the quality control is a part of quality management focus on fulfilling quality requirements, and the quality improvement is a part of quality management focus on the increase of ability to fulfill the quality requirements. 
So, a figure A.6, paragraph 3.3, concept of the class activity. Unrelated concepts. Another is the procedure and processes. Procedure and processes. Procedure is a specific, specified way to carry out an activity or process, while the process is a set of interrelated or interacting activities that use input to deliver an intended result. It is composed of outsourcing contract design and development projects and competence acquisitions and quality management system. So the outsource is make an arrangement where an external organization perform parts of an organization's functions or process. While the contract is a binding agreement, the design and development is a set of process that transforms requirements for an object into more detailed requirements for that object, while the competence acquisitions is a process of attaining competence. Quality management system is realization, is a process of establishing documents, implementing, maintaining, and continually improve, improving a quality management system, while the project is a unique process consisting of a set of coordinated and controlled activities with a start to finish dates undertaken to achieve an objectives Confirming to the specific requirements, including that constraint and time, cost, and resources. So, figure E.7, paragraph 3.4, concept of the class, process, and related concept. Another is a system. System is composed of infrastructure, management system, meteorological confirmations, work environment, while the management system is composed of measurement management system, strategy, mission, visions, and policy. And the policy is composed of quality policy. While the objectives of the management system is composed of quality management system. So system is a set of interrelated or interacting elements. Infrastructure is the system of facility, equipment, and service needing for the operations of an organization while the metrological confirmations is a set of operations required to ensure that the measuring equipments conform to the requirements for its intended use while the management system is a set of interrelated or interacting elements of an organization to establish policies and objectives and processes to achieve those objectives whereas the work environment is a set of conditions under which work is performed and the measurement management system is a set of interrelated or interacting elements necessary to achieve meteorological confirmations and control of measurement process. The strategy is a plan to achieve a long term of overall objectives, while the mission is an organization's purpose for exerting as expressed by top management, while the vision is the aspirant of what an organization would like to become as expressed by the top management. While the policy is the intentions or directions of the organization as formally expressed by its top management and the quality policy is the policy related to quality, whereas the quality management system is the parts of management system with regards to quality. So figure E.83, paragraph 3.5, concept of class system and related concept. Another is the object composed of quality, innovate innovations and grade. While the quality is linked to the requirements and the quality requirements, whereas the requirements is linked of non-conformity and conformity. Quality requirements is dictionary requirements, regulatory requirements, product configuration, capability, defect, and dependability. Object. From the top is object anything perceivable or conceivable. While the quality is a degree to which a set of inherent characteristics of an object fulfills requirements, innovation, new or change object realizing or distributing value, while the grade is the category or rank given to different requirements for an object having same function use. Whereas the quality requirements is the requirements related to quality and the requirements is the need of expectation that is stated generally implied or obligatory. Non-conformity is a non-fulfillment of the requirements, whereas the conformity is the fulfillment of the requirements. Stationary requirements is the obligatory requirements specified by the legislative body. 
regulatory requirements is the obligatory requirements specified by an authority mandated by the legislative body. Defect is a non-conformity related to an intended or specified use, while the capability ability of an object to realize an output that will fulfill the requirements for the output. Dependability is the ability to perform as and, as and when required, while the traceability is the ability to trace and history applications or locations of an object, whereas the product configuration management information is the requirements or other informations for the product design, realizations, verifications, operations, and support. Figure E.9, paragraph 3.6, concept of the class, requirements, and related concept. Another is the result, composed of risk, output, efficiency, and effectiveness, whereas the output is composed of product and service, and the result is composed of objectives and performance, whereas the objective is composed of success, and quality objectives, whereas success is composed of sustain. Result, dictionary word, risk, effect of uncertainty, output, result of the process, efficiency relationship between the result achieved and the result use, effectiveness, extent to which plan activities are realized and plan result are achieved. Performance is a measurable result. Service is an output of an organization with at least one activity necessarily to perform between the organization's and the customer, the product is the output of an organization that can be produced without any transactions taking place between the organizations and the customer, whereas the objective is the result to be achieved. The success is the achievement of an objective, whereas the quality objectives is the objective related to the quality. Sustained success is the success over a period of time. Figure 810, paragraph 3.7, concept of the class result and related concept is composed. Another is the data. Data is composed of information and objective evidence, whereas the information is composed of information system and documents, and the objective evidence is composed of verifications and validations, whereas the documents is composed of specifications and records and document information and project management plan, whereas the record is composed of configuration status accounting and the specification is composed of quality manual and quality plan. Data is a fact about an object. Information is a meaningful data. Objective evidence is data supporting the existence or, ver or variety of something. Information system is a network of communications channel used within the organization. A document is the information and the medium on which it is contained, while verification is a confirmation through the provisions of objective evidence that is specified. Validation is a confirm confirmation through the provisions of the objective evidence that the required for the specific intended use for apl applications have been fulfilled. The specification is a document stating requirements, while the record is a document stating result achieve or providing evidence of activities performed, whereas the documentation information is the information required to be controlled and maintained by an organization and the medium on which it is contained. Quality manual is the specifications for the quality management systems of an organization, whereas the quality plan is the specifications of the procedure and associated resources to be applied when and by whom to a specific object a specific case is the subject of the quality plan. Configuration status accounting is a formalized recording and reporting of product configuration information and a status of, pro of proposed chains and a status of the implementations of approved chains. Project management plan is a document specifying what is necessarily to meet the objectives of the project. Figure E.11, paragraph 3.8 concept of the class data information and documents and related concept another is a customer composed of feedback and customer satisfaction customer is composed of customer satisfaction code of conduct customer service customer compliant and dispute so this is the figure e.12 3.9 concept of the class customer and related concept customer feedback 
opinion, comments, and expressions of interest in a product, a service, or a compliance handling process. While the compliance is the expressions of dissatisfactions made on the organization related to its product or service of the compliance handling process itself, where the response, response of the resolutions is explicitly or implicitly expected, and the dispute is the disagreement arising from the compliance this submitted to the DRP provider. Customer service is the interactions of the organizations with the customer throughout the life cycle of the product or service. Customer satisfaction is the customer perceptions of the degree to which the customer expectations have been fulfilled, whereas the customer satisfactions of code of conduct is a promise made to customer by an organization concerning its behavioral and our aim to enhance customer satisfactions and related provision. So this is the concept of class uh, customer related concepts. Another is characteristic composed of quality characteristic, configuration, metrological, human factor, well as the human factor is composed of competence and the configuration is composed of configuration baseline. So characteristic is a distinguished feature. Quality characteristic, inherent characteristic of an objective related to the requirements, while the configuration is interrelated functions and physical characteristic of a product or service defined in the product confirmations information. Okay. <laughs> Metrological characteristic is a characteristic which can influence the result of measurement. Human factor is the characteristic of a person having an impact on the object and their considerations, whereas the competence is the ability to apply knowledge and skills to achieve intended result. Metrological characteristic is a characteristic which can influence the result of measurement and the configuration baseline is the approved product configuration information that establish the characteristic of the product or service at the point in time that serves as reference of the activities throughout the life cycle of the product or service. So this is a figure E.13, paragraph 3.10 concept of the class characteristic and related concept. Another is determination. Concept of the class determination. Determination is composed of review, monitoring, measurement, inspection and test, and progress evaluations, whereas the measurement is composed of measurement process and measuring equipment. So determination is an activity to find out one or more characteristic and their character characteristic values and the review. Review is the determination of the suitability, adequacy, or effectiveness of an object to achieve established objectives, while the monitoring is the determining the status of the system and process, a process of product, a service, or activity, whereas the measurement is the process to determine the value, and the inspection is the determinations of the conformity to specified requirements, and the test is determination according to the requirements for a specific intended use of the applications. Progress evaluations is the assessment of the prog progress made on the achievement of the process of the project objectives, whereas the measurement process is a set of operations to determine the value of the quality, quantity, and the measurement of the equipment is the measuring instrument, software, measurement standard, reference material, or auxiliary apparatus or combinations thereof necessary to realize the measurement process of figure of A.14, paragraph 3.11 concept of the class determinations and the related concept. Another is action, action composed of preventive action and reward, corrective action and repair, correction, corrective, correction and scrap. Regrade and permission. Permission is composed of concession, deviation, permit, and release. So action in dictionary word, action is an activity to achieve something. So action related to non-conformity and action related to product and service. So action related to non-conformity. Preventive action is an action to eliminate the, the cause of the potential non-conformity or other potential undesirable situation. Corrective action is the action 
to eliminate the cause of the nonconformity and to prevent recurrence. Correction is the action to eliminate directed nonconformity, regrade alterations of the grade of nonconforming products or service in order to make conform requirements differing from the initial requirements. Action on the product or service is composed of rework is an action on the non-conforming products or service to make it conform to the requirements. Repair is the action on the non-conforming product or service to make it acceptable for the intended use. A scrap is the action on the non-conforming product or service to, to preclude its original intended use. Permission is composed of concession, deviation, and release. Permission in dictionary words is the action of giving formal authority, while the concession is a permission to use or release a product or service that does not conform to specified requirements. Deviation permit is a permission to depart from original specified requirements of a product or service prior to its realizations. Release is a permission to proceed to the next stage of the process or the next process. Figure E-15, paragraph 3.12 concept of the class actions and related concepts. Another is audit. Audit is composed of combined audit, joint audit, audit clients, audit program, audit scope, audit plan, audit criteria, audit guide, audit team, audit evidence, and auditor, observer, technical expert, audit conclusion. So audit is a systematic independent and documented process for obtaining objectives, evidence, and evaluating its objectivity to determine the extent of which the audit criteria are fulfilled. Combined audit is the audit carried out together at a single audit on two or more management system. Joint audit is the audit carried out at the single audit by two or more auditing organization. Audit program is a set of one or more audit plan for the specific time frame and directed towards a specific purpose. Audit client is the organizations or person requesting an audit. Audit, audit scope is the extent and boundaries of an audit. Audit plan is the descriptions of the activities and arrangement of an audit. Audit is the organization being audited. Audit criteria is a set of policies, procedure, or requirements used as a reference against which objective evidence is compared. Guide is the person appointed by the audit as, as to assess the audit team. Audit team is one or more person conducting the audit, supporting if needed by the technical expert. Audit evidence is the record statement of fact or other information which are related to the audit criteria and verifiable. Audit finding is the result of the evaluations of the collected audit evidence against the audit criteria. Audit conclusion is the outcome of an audit after considerations of the audit objectives and all audit finding. <clears throat> audit team, auditor, is a person who conduct an audit. Technical expert is the person who provide a specific knowledge or expertise to the audit team. Observer is the person who accompanies the audit team but does not act as an auditor. So figure 3, 8.16, paragraph 3.13, concept of a class audit and related concept. So here in the page 55, bibliography. So too much bibliography. ISO 704 2009, terminology, work, principles, and methods. ISO 1087, last one, 2000, Terminology Work Vocabulary, Part 1, Theory and Application. ISO 3534, two Statistic, Vocabulary and Symbols, Part 2, Applied Statistic. Number 4, uh, ISO 9001, Quality Management System Requirements. Number 5, ISO 9004, Managing for the Sustained Success of an Organization. Quality Management Approach. Number 6, ISO 1001, 2007, Quality Management System. Customer Satisfaction Guidelines for Code of Conduct for Organization Number 7 ISO 1002 2014 Quality Management System Customer Satisfaction Guidelines for Compliance Handling in Organization 
Number 8, ISO 1003-2007 Quality Management System, Customer Satisfaction Guidelines for Dispute Resolutions External to Organization. Number 9, ISO 1004-2012 Quality Management System, Customer Satisfaction Guidelines for Monitoring and Measuring. Number 10, ISO 1005-2005 Quality Management System, Guidelines for the Quality Plans. Number 11, ISO 1006-2003 Quality Management System, Guidelines for Quality Management in Project. ISO 1007-2003 number Quality Management System, Guidelines for Configuration Management. ISO na, number 13, ISO 1008 Quality Management System, Customer Satisfaction Guidelines for Business to Consumer Electronic Comments Transaction. Number 14, ISO 1012-2003 Measurement Management System Requirements for Measurement Process and Measuring, measuring Equipment. Number 15, ISO TR-10013 Guidelines for Quality Management System Documentation. Number 16, ISO 10014 Quality Management System Guidelines for Realizing Financial and Economic Benefits. Number 17, ISO 10015 Quality Management System Guidelines for Training. ISO TR-1007 Guidelines for Constructive Technology. ISO 9001-2000, number 19. ISO 1001-2012 Quality Management System Guidelines on People Involvement and Competence. ISO number 20, ISO 1001-2005 Guidelines for the Selections of Quality Management System Consultant and Use of Their Service. Number 21, ISO 10241-1 Terminology Entries in Standard Part 1 General Requirements and Examples of Presentation. Number 22, ISO 10241-2 Terminology Entries in Standard Part 2 Adaptions of Standardized Terminology Entries. Number 23, ISO 1001 Environmental and Management System Requirements with Guidance for Use. Number 24, ISO, ISO TIS. 1694-9, Quality Management System Particular Requirements for the Applicable for the ISO 9001-2008 for the Automotive Productions and Relevant Service Parts of Organization. Number 25, ISO IEC, 17,000 Confirmity Assessment, Vocabulary and General Principles. ISO 19, ISO number 26, ISO 1901-2011, Guidelines for Auditing Management System. Number 27, ISO IEC 27001, Information Technology Security Te Technique, Information Security Management System Requirements. Number 28, ISO 31000, Risk Management Principles and Guidelines. Number 29, ISO 5001, Energy Management System Requirements with Guidance for Use. Number 30, IEC 600. 50-192 International Electrotechnical Vocabulary Parts 192 Dependability Number 31 ISO IEC Guide to Standardizations and Related Activities General Vocabulary Number 32 ISO Guide in 73 Risk Management Vocabulary Number 33 ISO IEC Guide 99 International Vocabulary for Metrology Basic and General Concepts and Associated Term VIM Number 34 Quality Management Principles Ap alphabetical index of term, alphab activity, association, audit, audit clients, audit conclusion, audit criteria, audity, audit evidence, audit findings, auditor, audit plan, audit program, audit scope, audit team, capability, change control, characteristic, combined, audit, com competence, competence, acquisition, compliance, Concession, Configuration, Configuration Authority, Configuration Baseline, Configuration Control Board Admitted Term for the Configuration Authority, Configuration Object, Configuration Management, Configuration Status Accounting, Conformity, Context of the Organizations, Continual Improvement, Contract, Correction, Corrective Action, Customer, Customer Satisfaction, Customer Satisfaction Code of Conduct, Customer Service, Data, Defect, Dependability, Design and Development, Determinations, Deviation Permit, Dispositioning Authority, Admitted Terms of Configuration Authority, Dispute, 
dispute resolution process provided admitted terms for DRP provider, dispute resol resolver, documents, documented information, DRP provider, effectiveness, efficiency, engagement, entity admitted terms for project, external providers, external suppliers admitted from the providers, feedback, grade, guide, human factor, improvement, information, information system, infrastructure, innovation, inspection, interested party, involvement, items, admitted terms of per project, joint audit, management, management system, measurement, measurement management system, measurement process, measurement equipment, meteorological characteristic, meteorological confirmation, meteorological functions, mission, monitoring, non-conformity, object, objectives, objective evidence, observer, organizations, output, outsource, performance, policy, preventive action, procedure, process, product, product configuration information, progressive evaluation, project, project management, project management plan, providers, quality, quality assurance, quality characteristic, quality control, quality improvement, quality management, quality management system, quality management system consultant, quality management system realization, quality manual, quality objective, quality plan, quality planning, quality policy, quality requirements, record, regrade, regulatory requirements, release, repair, requirements, review, rework, risk,